People living around the Suncor refinery have struggled to get straight answers about issues at that plant that led it to be shut down in late December and ease back into full operations by April. Today, Suncor's CEO told investors that part of the problem was the competency of individual operators at the refinery. We asked Suncor if those operators are still at the controls of Colorado's only oil refinery. We haven't heard back. Welcome to Suncor Energy's first quarter earnings call. Suncor just announced better than expected profits, despite the months long shutdown of its Commerce City refinery. Temperatures in, in our backyard, in the, the nine backyard, dropped 30 degrees in 20 minutes. Suncor CEO Rich Kruger told investors that the December 21st temperature plunge took out their steam system, which allows Suncor to heat the refinery. It's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you continue to operate, you'd run risk that in those extreme conditions, you could have some type of loss of primary containment and, you know, further escalating event. Loss of primary containment basically means a spill or a mission. And if what gets loose is flammable, you can have fires or explosions. Suncor had two fires in the following days before they told the public that they were shutting down the entire facility. The CEO blames in part the competency of the people working there. And, you know, and the learnings, they, they fall into a variety of buckets, but they, you know, the competency of individual operators, have we had sufficient training in the, you know, the uniqueness of what happened, the temperature drop over the, you know, very, very short period. Suncor told investors worried about the bottom line that they'll be better prepared next time around. Apparently every year there's, there's, there's winter in Denver. And uh, for, before the next season, so that if we were to uh, experience something as unique as this, we would be far better equipped to uh, handle it. Suncor CEO says the company's board of directors got a comprehensive briefing just yesterday on what was learned from the incident in Colorado. We have asked Suncor if the community can see that briefing. We'll let you know when we hear back.